Good morning, you guys. Take a little break here. What a beautiful, beautiful winter morning. I'm just out on a hike right now. We finally got some snow. Uh, it's just, it's been so dry. Um, we finally got some snow, so I wanted to come out and just enjoy this winter weather while we have it. Here comes the wind. That was nice, a little chilly. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just out here enjoying this beautiful weather. Uh, last year I put out a video where I reviewed my favorite images that I took in 2020. And uh, I wanted to do something similar, but also different today. Uh, you know, I get to spend a whole lot of time out with nature, with some amazing wildlife and some amazing ecosystems and habitats and terrain. And uh, I am just so blessed to have so many awesome experiences out in nature. So I wanted to take a minute to review with you some of my favorite encounters that I've had in 2021. Uh, these aren't going to be necessarily my favorite pictures I've taken like I did last year, but these will be more of my favorite encounters that I've had over the past year. And uh, some of you who have followed my channel for a while, uh, some of these encounters may, may be familiar to you. And, uh, some of them might not be. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about the year, review it a little bit, and uh, let me share with you some of my favorite encounters. Just to preface this video, these encounters that I'm going to uh, talk about today, they are in no way uh, in order of favorite or anything like that. Honestly, I don't think I could choose a favorite if I had to. You know, I get to spend time with so many amazing animals and I wouldn't be able to choose one favorite. So these are just some of my favorites. If you like one of these encounters and you want to check out the video that kind of revolves around it, if you're newer to the channel and you haven't seen these previous videos, uh, or uh, if you just missed one, you want to check it out, or if you want to watch it again, if you've already watched it, I'll put links to all the videos in the description below. So feel free to check those out and uh, kind of follow along with some of these encounters I've had over this last year. Super, super fun year that I've had. On that note, let's jump right in. First one that I wanted to review today was my time spent earlier in the fall with uh, black bears. In that video where I spent some time backpacking around and uh, hiking around, spending time with black bears, I mentioned that I spent so much more time with grizzly bears than I have with black bears. So this was uh, an excursion that I wanted to go on for quite some time where I just got out, hiked around, explored new areas, and uh, spent some time with black bears. And guys, I had so much fun with those bears. They are so entertaining to watch. They're just so funny, uh, especially as they're fattening up for fall. You know, these bears were just gorging themselves on different berries and it was just so funny watching them, you know, tear these trees and bushes apart as they uh, tried to fatten up for winter and get these berries. So much fun spending time with those bears. And I was just able to hike through miles and miles of beautiful forests and terrain looking for uh, these bears and I had so much fun spending time with these black bears. It was so good just to sit back and observe their behavior, get some more pictures of them and all that. Uh, it definitely whet my appetite for uh, black bear photography and I'll definitely be spending some more time with them in the future. Awesome, awesome time spent with these black bears this year. The next encounter that I wanted to talk about, it's more of a series of encounters that I had with uh, different species. Traditionally, I tend to photograph more mammals than I do birds, but one of my main goals in 2021 was to uh, expand my bird portfolio, to spend time observing species and photographing species that I've never uh, photographed before. So uh, 
I wanted to focus mainly on uh, waterfowl and shorebirds. So in uh, 2021, I made it out quite a few times in my homemade floating blind. And let me just tell you, it was so much fun doing that. You know, I love going out and coming home at the end of the day or at the end of a trip with a bunch of good pictures or video footage. You know, that is really important to me, but a lot of it to me is also the experience that leads up to the picture. And uh, getting out in that floating blind, you know, how cool is that and how wonderful of an experience that was doing that multiple times and being able to be right there with the birds and they didn't even know that I was there and to be able to get this intimate footage them and just natural behavior that's hard to get otherwise. It was so much fun. And uh, you know, I was able to spend time with so many new species that I've never, never photographed before. Uh, I started off the year with some golden eye ducks, which I had been wanting to photograph for so long. And I got some green winged teals and some widgeons, uh, some gadwalls, uh, pelicans, avocets, black neck stilts, it just so many cool birds. And uh, it was just great to spend so much time in that floating blind this year. And that was definitely uh, one of the coolest series of experiences that I've had this year. Any time spent in that blind is time well spent. The next three encounters that I wanted to talk about uh, are all similar in that I was with somebody else when they happened. Uh, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I like to get out by myself. I like to backpack uh, solo and, and do a lot of my trips and my outings by myself. Uh, but these next three encounters, these were encounters that uh, I was very fortunate to be with uh, some of my loved ones when I went out and uh, ex had these experiences. So the first one that I wanted to talk about was out in Florida. I was out on a trip in Florida with my beautiful wife and we were uh, out there more as tourists. It wasn't a wildlife trip, but you guys know me. Uh, anytime I can look for wildlife, I'll jump all over the opportunity. We took the opportunity to uh, spend some time out kayaking in some mangroves and just looking for whatever wildlife we could find. And uh, over the span of, you know, a couple days, uh, we were able to see some amazing animals. And my favorite was uh, by far the American alligators that I was able to photograph. We saw, I believe it was two American alligators and uh, I just had, brief encounters with them, but uh, that was something I've been wanting to photograph for quite some time now. And to be able to experience that with my wife, even though she wasn't a fan of the alligators much, but uh, you know, just to experience that with her and to be on such a fun trip with her, such a wonderful experience and one that I can't wait to do again. I always so much fun being out there. The next encounter that I wanted to uh, talk about was with a family of beavers. I know, kind of strange. I'm talking about alligators here and bears and you know, all sorts of stuff. And I've got beavers on the list. Well, you know, beavers are amazing. I love spending time with them. And uh, the reason this encounter was so special to me is because it was something I got to do with my son. You know, my little boy, he loves animals. He loves wildlife. And uh, one day this last summer, he uh, told me that he wanted to go out and find some beavers. I woke him up early one summer morning before it was light and we went out uh, to a beaver lodge that I had been watching uh, over the past few days and uh, we were able to see quite a few beavers uh, swimming around the parents with the young kids. And it was just fun to spend time with him and to see that pure excitement that he has for wildlife and uh, the joy that seeing those beavers brought him that day. It was just so much fun. What a wonderful, wonderful experience. Anytime I can spend time with him out in nature is just a wonderful experience for me. And I hope that's something that he can grow up appreciating and, and uh, cherish when he's older as well. The next encounter that I wanted to share with you guys 
was one that I had with my own dad. Uh, what an amazing experience it was, and some of you may already know what I'm about to, to talk about here. But uh, each year, my dad and I make it out to Yellowstone. Uh, we hike around for a few days, see what wildlife we can find. And uh, it's just so much fun spending time out in nature with him. And uh, on our trip last spring, we had an amazing encounter with a black wolf. Uh, we were driving along and out in one of the sage flats, we uh, noticed a wolf just way out there making his way along. And so we watched him for a bit and we kind of uh, figured out the direction he was heading and kind of read the landscape a little bit. And uh, we guessed kind of where he was making his way. So we made our way around to another area and uh, we waited there just hoping that he would show up. And we waited and we waited and we waited. And uh, finally, over this rise in the, this small little rise in the terrain, uh, this wolf kind of crested this rise and he came down a little bit and stopped. And he just had this intense gaze with his piercing yellow eyes and he, he looked directly at us. It was just this amazing experience. And uh, anytime you can look into the eyes of a wolf, it is just amazing. Such beautiful, beautiful animals. And to be able to experience that with my dad was just phenomenal. It was one of my most favorite wildlife encounters I've had in my entire life. And again, to uh, be able to share that with my dad was just so special. Those of you who have followed my channel for a bit now know that I am a complete grouse geek. I love spending time with any species of grouse or grouse-like bird. Uh, ptarmigan, you know, all that stuff. And uh, this spring was just amazing. Uh, I did a series of videos this uh, last spring, uh, four different videos where I spent time with four different species of grouse. And that whole period of time was just amazing. I covered so much different terrain and saw the, the different species of grouse. It was so amazing. And uh, one morning I was looking for ruffed grouse. I was going through a a forest a spring morning and uh, I was looking for ruffed grouse and I found one and I started photographing him. He was on this beautiful log in front of me and he would drum, they would do that uh, drumming display and uh, all of a sudden it started snowing and we just got this beautiful soft uh, snowfall with these big flakes and uh, guys what a magical experience that was. You know, it, the experience went from amazing to just pure magic. I know that sounds cheesy, but honestly it was to have that beautiful bird in such a beautiful forest and have the snow start to fall. That's something I've been wanting to capture for years and to finally be able to experience that this last spring was just amazing. Such an awesome experience. Uh, every time I think about it still, I just... It just makes me smile. What an awesome experience that was. The next encounter that I wanted to review really isn't an encounter at all. Uh, this last summer I went out and spent about 10 days backpacking through the prairie. And uh, I, was, I was searching for different wildlife, different species. It had been a few years since I made my way out to that that area and um, I, I was hoping to find a couple different species to do videos on and uh, during that whole trip I got skunked on just about everything. I, I didn't have many wildlife encounters but even though I wasn't able to photograph what I was after that was still one of my most favorite trips that I did last year. It was so much fun just to be in that vast expanse of just pure beauty. The American Prairie is one of the most beautiful landscapes that I've ever spent time in. And, it, you know, just to be surrounded by the, the flowers everywhere, the uh, evening lightning storms that you get passing through, the constant bird song everywhere, the amazing sunsets out there, it is just so beautiful and like I say that was one of my 
my favorite trips that I had this year. Uh, even though I didn't get to photograph what I was out there to photograph, it was just so much fun and uh, so peaceful to be out in such a beautiful place. That was definitely one of my favorite moments from this past year. Guys, how could I make a video about my most favorite encounters and not talk about Alaska? Uh, each year I try to make it out to Alaska to uh, photograph the amazing wildlife and scenery out there particularly the bears and so I made it out again last year I was out there for about 12 days and uh, you know I just spent spent time by myself with the bears out there and it was amazing such an awesome trip each year out there is so different than the previous year and uh, this year did not disappoint it was amazing uh, this year was different uh, in that there were more mother bears with cubs this year than I've seen in all other years out there put together. There were just so many out there. And uh, it was also different because they were so tolerant of my presence this year. Usually the mother bears with the cubs out in that area, very skittish and it's so hard to photograph them. This year I had them coming up to my camp and just napping right outside my camp. Uh, they would come and play right in front of me and there were so many tolerant bears out there it made it a lot easier for me to photograph them. One encounter in particular though was with uh, one mother she had a single cub and I was out on the tundra one morning photographing them when they made their way to uh, this natural depression in the landscape out there and they kind of made their way into this little bowl and uh, water had collected down there. It's kind of like a little pond. And it was an odd morning because there was virtually no wind at all. So the water was just, I mean, like glass. And I was able to get this beautiful reflection of them in the water. And uh, they took a nap there and then they nursed. Um, and then they got up and they played. And the mother bear and the cub, they would roll down the hill and wrestle. and. It was such a cool experience to watch them play like that. And uh, it just reminded me of how amazing animal parents can be. And uh, it was just a great opportunity to uh, watch them and uh, just so entertaining to see what an amazing encounter that was. The last encounter that I wanted to talk about and review in this video was with a family of desert kit foxes. Kit foxes, after wolves, they are my absolute favorite species. I love kit foxes. Uh, just beautiful little foxes that live out in the desert. And uh, they're so much fun to photograph. They can be extremely challenging to photograph. But they're also very fun to uh, observe and just be around. And uh, you know, this year, it was very difficult for kit foxes in my area uh, due to various reasons, which I won't get into here, but uh, they had a really rough year. And honestly, it was really hard for me as well just to see them go through their challenges and their struggle to sur just survive out there. Uh, it was really, really tough year. But uh, on a good note, I was able to find a new family of foxes that I've never photographed before. Uh, this family consisted of two parents and five kits, so seven foxes total. And uh, I was able to spend a little bit of time photographing them and just observing them from a distance. And uh, just getting to know this new family of foxes that I've never seen before. And these parents were amazing. Uh, they would go out and uh, do their best to provide for the five kits that they had. And uh, when they would get home, you know, the kits would come out just super excited to see the parents. And uh, they would play uh, and, you know, interact with each other. And it was just so much fun watching these beautiful little foxes uh, in their gorgeous desert home and uh, just so much fun being out with such amazing animals. I, I truly felt so blessed to be able to find this family and spend the time with them that I did. It was an amazing, amazing experience. What a wonderful year this has been. 
I truly feel so fortunate to be able to have such awesome encounters with so many amazing species and animals. It's just so much fun. And to be able to pass through this amazing terrain and landscape and all the other you know, areas that I'm able to pass through, I, I truly feel so blessed. It's just been a great year. Uh, you know, a lot of work goes into finding all these animals that I spend time with, but I love every minute of it. And uh, I look forward to uh, making some more awesome memories uh, each time I, I get out into nature. I truly, truly enjoy every minute out here. It's, it's so much fun. I thank you guys for watching. If you've liked these encounters and uh, want to see more in-depth videos about them, Again, go to the links in the description below. I'll have all these videos linked down there. And uh, you can check out all these encounters uh, with those videos. Uh, it's just, it's been an amazing year and I look forward to uh, what's to come in the future. It's, it's gonna be great. Thank you so much for following along. And as always, if you have any suggestions, recommendations, feedback, anything like that, let me know in the comments or shoot me an email. Uh, you know, just say hi, whatever it is. I try to get back to all that stuff. And uh, I always love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much. I hope you guys are having fun. I hope you guys had a wonderful year and uh, we'll have a great year to come. Be safe out there, you guys, and we'll see you next time.